This is another demo brought from the Australian Solution Centre showcasing three different ways that you can provision storage from within your Microsoft and System Centre environment. First of all, let's have a look at the new storage management service within the Virtual Machine Manager. You can see within here that what the first thing you need to do when you're setting up a, the, the ability to natively uh, manage storage from within VMM is set up a provider. It's an SMIS provider. So we've added that in. And our provider is aware of the three different arrays that we have within the uh, solution center. From there, we've pulled, we've selected which actual uh, RAID groups and storage pools that we want to be able to manage from, from within VMM. And you can see the, 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 the level of deep configuration information that is now accessible natively from within VMM. So what we're going to do is go off and create a LUN. So from within there, we select one of our Server 2012, our Hyper-V Hyper 3 hosts, and we'll select the storage tab. So we've selected the properties, go to storage. You can see that we have, we already list the storage that's allocated to that. And if we do select that, again, it gives us that configuration information. Great for support. But there, from the activities at the top that are available to us, the actions, we select to add disk. And one of those is, is up the top right, we've got the create logical unit. So the first step that we need to do is create our LUN. So we now need to do define those characteristics of that LUN. So the name, the size, whether the, what the allocation model is for that. Is it going to be thick or is it going to be thin? Where it's going to come from. So the uh, storage pool. Uh, that's all, and that storage pool, again, is a disk pool in, in EMC speak or a, or a, a RAID group. So we've defined our information, our MH Bronze 10 New LUN 1. So this is the first step where we've just gone and created a LUN. So we go and have a look at Unisphere for that uh, target array. We can see that the LUN is there, but at this stage there is no host uh, group assigned to it. So what we're going to do now is assign that to our host, our number 10, and we can see that we've now got the uh, option, we've got a tab to a uh, select a LUN, so we select that and we now select the uh, mounting information. So whether a disk or a or a path directory and you know the format type and, uh, and the uh, petitioning type. So we've added that information in. If we go and have a look at the uh, tasks within uh, that have been executed within VMM, you can see it's actually it's it's talking about those sort of operational um, events that we're we're familiar with from within our, the storage context. So in that case, creating the, um, doing the masking of that LUN, or in, um, as it is, assigning the host host group to it. So we can see that has now occurred. Uh, that activity is all complete. So we also then have a look through to the host, and voila, the uh, the disk is there, formatted, ready to ready to rock and roll. So it's created the LUN, assigned the masking information, initialized the disk, uh, and then formatted and mounted it in, into the operating system. Very cool and all natively within VMM. So let's have a look at this next step. This, this is a very cool uh, feature that is a, a bit of a sneak preview of what's coming from EMC. And this is a integration pack for System Center Orchestrator. You can see on the right, that's the list of all uh, integration packs. And within that, there's the, uh, you can see there's a Cisco UCS one and also the EMC integration pack. What that allows us to do is think in a, when you try to automate uh, his, automate uh, activities or, or you know, your, your procedures within an environment, it usually involves a, a fair bit of development, a, fair, a, a high level of skill around, around scripting languages or, or coding languages. This brings that sort of style of a, uh, uh, automation, but does it in a more logical sort of uh, graphical uh, way. So you, you've got your defined set of procedures and a, the integration packs contain what is set, called a, a list of activities. You can see here that we're looking at the property of an activity. An activity set has a bunch of properties that are input properties that it, it requires. So this activity is the create a new LUN. So it wants to know all the same things that, that like we did into VMM. What style of LUN it is, what's the name, where, the, where it's going to be created. Same here, we're creating a file system. So it's going to be formatted. What's the allocation size, the volume label, 
And all that's collected from the first one you can see, which is the initialized data. So collect your information, then you feed it through to each of the activities that, 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 that comes after each other. And you can put condition statements in there so that you can control, you know, whether on the success and failure uh, information and also pass information along and collect as you go. And see, we're, from here, we've, um, and how you can execute these, uh, what they call run books, is a uh, through the and this is through the the web console the native web console that comes with our uh, system center orchestrator so we select our create new lun and it gives us a, a way to enter that information in ready to uh, ready to go the other but what you want to do is you want to be able to when you're authoring these these uh, these run books uh, automating these procedures you need to be able to test them and make sure that they that they operate as as expected do what you want them to do and you can do that through the, uh, the the run book tester. You see here we've got our, and we're going to execute it in there. We just enter our information. Again, that same information as we, we do it in, whenever we need to a, a, a provision a LUN. Where's it coming from? What's its name going to be? How's it going to be uh, mounted? What's the, how big is it going to be? So key that information in and we just select OK. We're ready to rock and roll. Very easy. So the first activity was done. Initialize data. That's collected the information. Next one is the create the uh, create the LUN. You can see that's going going through. Now, if we, again, if we drop through to Unisphere, have a have a quick uh, refresh, and there, voila, we can see that our LUN has been created. But as uh, again, there there is no host group assigned to that. That happens in the next step. Assign LUN to to host, and we can see that's now gone through. So if we do a, a bit of a refresh again, we should now see the host information assigned to it. Marvelous, and it's so easy to do to create these uh, run book activities. Again, dropping through to our to our to our host, and we can see a, another LUN uh, that that LUN has now the disk has been initialized and the mounted information applied. Very straightforward. A very exciting uh, release coming from. Uh, from EMC, and you can expect that very early in the in the new year, 2013. Now let's have a look at what I like to call out the storage Swiss Army knife, the EMC storage integrator, that one-stop shop for storage management activities across your Microsoft environment, and not only your Microsoft environment. So think of Microsoft hosts and and the Hyper-V host, but also other hypervisors. You can see here that uh, I've selected a host again. Uh, same host again. I've select right mouse click. It gives me a, a content seven um, set of actions that are available. I've created. I've selected to create a new LUN. Again, select the select the pool. Now I'm giving the uh, the the information around the LUN that I uh, that, that I want. Give it a give it a name. Give it a description if you wish. The size, the allocation uh, type again, and then go into the, the mount information, allocation size, volume, name, whether it's going to be mounted into a disk or a drive letter. Again, this is a you know this is a third way that we've looked at on how we can provision a uh, provision a LUN. You can see they're all asking the same information, but three different approaches, all to it, all achieving the same end goal. Very exciting thing about ESI is ESI is not only a a GUI a uh, console to, for you to do these activities. It provides a full PowerShell library at the back end that, that's available that you can utilize to automate these activities. Uh, the, and the, uh, the orchestrator, as you saw before, leverages those PowerShell uh, capabilities. Very cool.